Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and taking a look at the Missing Witches Deck of Oracles, Feminist Ancestor Magic for Meditations, Divination, and Spell Work. This is by Risa Dickens and Amy Torak. This is also published by the North Atlantic Books, Berkeley, California. Thank you so much to North Atlantic Books for sending this my way. I am excited to get into this. This retails for $19.95 in the U.S. and $25.99 in Canada. And as always, in the description box below, I will link where you can legitimately purchase this should you want to. It is a tuck box, and it did kind of get a little dinged up in transport, so I am not going to even worry about that. All right, connect with Witches Living and Legend, a 52-card oracle deck of history's most, most inspiring practitioners of the craft. The Missing Witches deck of oracles is a uniquely rich offering of discovery, self-reflection, and divination. An invitation to commune with magic makers, past and present, feel their power, and connect with feminist histories across spheres of, spheres of art, literature, science, and revolution. You can work with the cards as a daily ritual, pulling one card or spread at a time, or discover an oracle practice that works best for you. Each card features an illustration and invocation on one side. The other includes each witch's story alongside an insight, prompt, or meditation. This deck and accompanying booklet provide an essential complement to Missing Witches and New Moon Magic. Missing Witches Deck of Oracles invites those new to experience with the craft to connect with real feminist magic and liberation. I am so excited because I really do love what this is about. The foiling on the tuck box is really great. Okay, so before we get into the cards, just want to take a peek at the guidebook here. We want to add real people who really existed, who did real magic and did real things, so their power can be an inspiration. Not a supernatural power that may or may not bestow its favor, but real human people who were born on this earth and did amazing things. These are the guides we want to bring into our altar spaces, into our crafting spaces, into magical space. When the rational part of our brain starts to whisper mean things about how all our radical hopes are foolish, then we can say, no, Zora Neale Hurston was real. Harriet Tubman was real. Amrita Devi, De Urduja, Wendy Carlos, all these people were real people who existed and exist in the world and conjured new futures, new possibilities. Being a witch can be like sitting on a fence between the real and the surreal, natural and the supernatural. With this deck, putting reality into oracle form, we want to tear down the fence. That is fantastic. So lots of information about the backstory, about the art. There are 52 faces and stories in this deck, plus two blanks that span 4,000 years of human history, and that is the idea of ancestry that we are bringing to this project. That is awesome. Okay, so the two blank cards, we encourage you to add your blood relatives or someone who has inspired you. We want you to add to the pantheon of people who you can go to when you need counsel and advice. That is awesome. What a wonderful wonderful thing to to include ways of using this deck so we have a new moon pool weekly pool daily calling council and alchemize your ancestry and there are no wrong answers oh and then we have reading material in here so if you want more information about each of the characters in this you got it. Okay, so we don't really need a guidebook past that. And let's talk card stock. Okay, so these are the two blank cards. That's so cool. Okay, card stock. Not bad. Very sturdy, but flexible. Snaps back. I like it. And it's a map. Okay, so we can put those down. And here we go. The woman on the front. And then we have the information on the back. Okay. I love the colors of this.
So we have the name and the keyword, what it's about. And then on the back, it gives you a breakdown of who the person was and then um, what the card will ask you to do. And it's a linen too. I think this is fantastic learning uh, who these women were, how to look up to them, how to use what they taught. Tituba, wow. This is a really pretty deck. It's simple, but I don't mean that in a negative way because it really makes you focus on the woman and what they're about. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I'm excited to read all the little bios in the back here. I love that this is grounded in reality. <gasps> Tofan Aquatafana. <laughs> oh my goodness, she made it in a deck. I highly urge you to, if you are unfamiliar with Aqua Tifana, to look it up because it is quite the interesting story. And, um, you know, I got to say, women are inventive. I really like that there's a lot of women in this deck that we don't see in other like women deck. Like um, we did the Her Oracle earlier and um, a couple other ones I believe I have, but they're focused more on more pop culture or more prominent people that we discuss on a daily basis. This one is really unique.
all different cultures, all different throughout the history of time. I love this. Oh, we have Pixie, Miss Coleman Smith herself. Wow. Wow. This feels like, um, it feels sacred. <laughs> Just the women that come before, the women that we should revere. It's just beautifully done. All right. Oh, it shuffles. So nice. I like the feel of that. Shuffles great that way, and it shuffles overhand really nice, too. Okay, can we get a card to read, please? Okay. Diane de Prima with Imagination. Diane is the missing feminist beat poet and poet progenitor. She edited the literary magazine The Floating Bear and co-founded the Poets Press and the San Francisco Institute of Magical and Healing Arts. In 2009, she was named the Poet Laureate of San Francisco. She wrote about women as wolves, women as predators, as hunters, as villains. She wrote about fat women, queer women, androgynous women, disobedient women, women's, women as gods, as birds, as the wind. She called worlds into being with words. She wrote, being yourself, home to yourself, enter the garden. The war is the war for the human imagination. This card requires you to believe in your own imaginative world building power. Now, I don't know if this was a direct like quote from uh, how she wrote it with the YR. So I don't know if that's a typo or that's something that she actually, how she wrote it. So I, I will leave that up to you guys. Um, but I love this. I think this is great that we get to really dive a little bit deeper into these women who we don't normally talk about on a day-to-day -day basis that brought so much to the table that, you know, changed realities um, and that have been through so much and helped shape our current world. And it's just beautifully done. I feel like it was done with a lot of reverence and respect and um, the artwork is fun, beautiful, um, and it doesn't, you know... It's not super realistic, which I like because not everybody likes a realistic looking uh, face coming at you in the Oracle card. So it's approachable. It's definitely a unique deck. I really like that you can use this however you see fit. Um, and I am really excited to learn about more of these women that I actually have not heard of before. And what's great is you get these blank cards too. So like if you have somebody in your life that you look up to and who has changed things for the better for you, add them to the deck in present time. That's just what a wonderful thought. So I definitely am excited to get to know this a lot better. I think this is just a wonderful deck if you are somebody who wants to tap into that um, 
knowledge and that history and bring that down into reality. I think that this is a wonderful deck. Definitely a really cool tool to check out. I feel like there's so many different ways that you can utilize this. Um, even altar work, shadow work, there's so many different ways that you can kind of use this to your particular uh, practice. So very cool. Thank you again for sending this my way, the North Atlantic books. This is just what a wonderful, wonderful, I'm, I'm kind of speechless to be honest because I wasn't expecting to be so connected so quick to, to this deck. I think this is just gorgeous, beautiful. I've got no complaints. Um, would I love more? Absolutely. As far as like more in the guidebook, but this causes you to kind of go out on your own for, uh, more information, which, you know, is not a bad thing. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on this deck. Is this something that you're excited about? Did you know about this? Is this something that you have to have? Or is this a pass from you? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you and I like you. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. And it helps me out with the algorithm gods. Thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.